been waiting for their heads to rotate around and vomit pea soup. They're about to spend one week together in the great outdoors. We weren't invited. Ah, they'll be tickled to death to see us. Who invited them anyway? But this is no holiday. The man is an ass! This is war. know a good time if it fell out of the sky, landed on your face, and started to wiggle. Are you going to argue, or are you going to enjoy yourself? Dan Aykroyd. John Candy. The Great Outdoors. Outdoor fun for the whole family. That had to hurt. <laughs> You got two comic legends. You got John Candy, you got Dan Aykroyd, and there's a bear with a bald head. <laughs> now, if there's a formula for a great movie, you got it right there. It's a must watch in the days leading up to any camping trip, okay? Especially in an area where there's bears. That's always fun. I, I've never camped where there's grizzlies or Kodiaks or any of the scary ones. I've camped near black bears, they're not all that scary. But it's always fun to watch that prior to a camping trip. Even though there's no real camping, they're in a cottage, which is very expensive. And I, I could go on and on about how, for some reason, in the movies in the 80s, I don't understand this. Everybody who goes on a vacation seems to be on vacation for months. And I don't know how they got all that vacation time, like what kind of job is available, especially in the 80s where you couldn't telecommute, where you could go away for three months and, and still have a job. Like Summer Rental, another John Candy movie, he seems to disappear for three months to uh to I don't know I don't know how this works in the 80s how that worked because when I was a kid we had one week and we would we wouldn't even do anything like elaborate we'd go to a cousin's house for a week and and our vacation was spent going to garage sales and uh staying up late watching cable cuz I didn't have cable as a kid that would, I don't I don't understand that I don't understand how the 80s and vacations and movies worked that way and I'm sure I could go on a long rant but I won't but great outdoors check it out Bald Bear. That's all I have to say. Bald Bear, John Candy, Dan Aykroyd. Perfect. And another great summer movie. Perfect for the kids. It's a movie I've talked at length about my love of uh, on an episode of Staff Picks with Mario Lanza, which I highly recommend listening to because we go into we go deep into it. It's Ernest Goes to Camp. Presenting the one, the only, the original, Ernest P. Worrell in his first motion picture. The reason this is my favorite Ernest movie, which I don't know if there's a lot of people who could say they have a favorite Ernest movie. Uh, there's probably the three most popular are probably Ernest Goes to Camp, Ernest Saves Christmas, and uh, what is the Halloween one? I don't remember. Ernest Scared Stupid. Yeah, there's probably between those three and maybe a few like Ernest Go to Jail, but goes to jail. But see, for me, it's always Ernest Goes to Camp. It's the first Ernest movie. I remember watching it as a kid, loving it. I bought it on DVD as soon as I could find it. I've watched it with my children many, many times, usually once a year around the summertime. And I love it because it's sincere, it's silly, and it has a whole lot of heart. I mean, if you don't tear up the first time you hear Ernest sing, gee, I'm glad it's raining, then you don't have a heart. You're heartless. You just, you, you're a sociopath. You can't not tear up when you hear him sing that. Anyway, uh, I still wonder how a sweet kid like Moose, you know, the little kid that is in the movie, who's from a juvenile detention center, how he ended up there. And I can only conclude that he killed a man. I don't know. I talk about it at length on Staff Picks with Mario Lanza. I'll link to that in the show notes. And finally, I think everyone who's a grown up should start their summer with the Richard Linklater classic. Dazed and Confused. This movie has everything. A great soundtrack, memorable dialogue, and a collection of young stars that grew up to be superstars like Matt, Matthew McConaughey or uh, Ben Affleck, for instance. And, you know, it's kind of the outsiders of the 90s, if you think about it. But don't watch it with the kids. 
they won't be ready for that. So, anyway. I think I've talked enough. If you missed me, I've given you a big filling to tide you over. This is longer than usual. Usually they're about 10 minutes. This is going to be about 17 when I'm done. Yeah. So, until I come back, you'll be tied it over. Is that the right word? i giving you enough to tide you over. I don't know. I, I speak English, don't understand it. Anyway, when will I be back? I don't know. I have no idea. But until then, feel free to drop me an email at peaceloveandrobotspod at gmail.com. You can find me on Facebook. Check out my substack, zare.substack.com. I've been writing there pretty regularly. And I'd love to hear from you. But until then, for goodness sake, don't try to eat the old 96er. We all love steak, but we all have our limits. Keep that in mind.